Zakynthos is one of the well-known tourist destinations in Greece. We stayed in CDV, a city about 15 minutes from Zante, the island's capital. While I arrived in the apartment, Tina Suite, Zakynthos, really nice, good, modern apartment. We have two bedrooms. One for them, one for okay. Kitchen. I was there with my wife and our little boy and I will describe in this vlog where you can go with a baby and a stroller. I will also point out where we went or wanted to go, but it's impossible with a baby. But even if you don't go with a baby, let's say you go with your partner or friends, you will still find useful information about which places to visit, what good restaurants are worth visiting and so on. And since it was our wedding anniversary, I wanted to celebrate with a nice, delicious dinner. So Tina Suite, it was a, li a little hard to find, but uh, uh, the owner expected us on the street. So yeah, it's a great apartment, but of course we have the stairs. And since we have Leon and of course, mm -hmm. there's a good cardio for me. I don't need to do any cardio here on vacation because usually I have my stairs to walk and everything so yeah uh, let's unpack and then let's go to dinner today is our second wedding anniversary and yeah we will go to a special place I think it's a really great place I did some research before we went uh, here on the Quintos it's called uh, the Botanic Garden and uh, you will see it later so it turned out to be a good decision because the vibe is chilly and relaxed and the restaurant is like a garden. It was very nice sitting surrounded by trees and the staff was kind. Hey, what are you looking for, Kevin? <laughs> Don't know which one yet. <laughs> they offer their traditional food and other cuisines as well. We had some of their traditional food and sushi which was delicious. Just for your information, we stayed at Tina's Luxury Suites, which is about a minute walk uh, from uh, the Botanic Garden and about 10 minutes walk from the CDV Center. The nearest beach is less than a 10 minute walk from the apartment. Actually, it's about five to six minutes. However, like many times before, we had an apartment with the stairs and it was a little uncomfortable with the stroller because we had to carry it up and down the steep stairs multiple times every day. So the first beach we went to was the Alexandra beach in CDV, which was also the nearest to our apartment. It's a nice sandy beach with a couple of restaurants nearby. The vibes are relaxing and it's suited for families as well. It's easily accessible with a baby stroller. They offer good food, a pair of sunbeds and an umbrella is 20 euros per day. And they also have a nice well cleaned toilets, showers and changing rooms. I would uh, recommend it, especially if you are staying in CDV. On our way from the beach, we went for a late lunch or early dinner. With so many restaurants, on our way back, we stopped at Afrala restaurant. Air condition, just for you. Looks so delicious. Yamas. Again, we weren't disappointed with the food and Afrala is another great Greek restaurant I would definitely recommend. If you like to train in Zakynthos, there are plenty of gyms there, but more or less all in Zante or around it. The nearest to CDV was the 365 Fitness, which is about a 10 minute drive from the city. I went there for a workout. Instantly, I knew that this was the place I wanted to train while staying in Zakynthos. This medium sized gym has two floors. On uh, the ground floor, you can find the cardio equipment, some newer machines and uh, free weights, while on the first floor, there's a bunch of old school equipment and more free weights. The gym is not too crowded and I liked the vibe. It also has great prices with 10 euros for a 24 hour pass. So I did the workout at 365 Fitness in the Quintos here. Great gym. I like the second floor, old school uh, machines. 
that's uh, basically really uh, similar to the basement that I'm training at home. And uh, yeah, I like it and it's pretty cheap. So you can train twice in 24 hours if you want. The monthly pass is about 30 euros. At least these prices are valid for the summer of 2024. So keep in mind that the prices can change by the time you get there. By the way, shout out to Costas for a great gym service. Banana Baya or Banana Beach is one of the tourist destinations on the island. This beach is also easily accessible with the stroller once you park the car. They have a few big parking places so you will find free parking even in the high season. So this is the famous Banana Beach. But we were a little confused because it looks like there are two entries. So, but I think... Yeah, two restaurants. But I think they are connected at the bay. Probably. It's beautiful with this, like, this, the path is beautiful with the flowers. Indeed, yeah, that's true. Really nice. And banana leaves. Banana leaves, perfect. Let's check it out. The sun beds and umbrella are 20 euros also on this beach. Keep in mind that you are not allowed to bring your food here, just the food from the restaurant. However, we still saw people eating their snacks and we did it as well. It was Leon's first touch with the sea and he wasn't really a fan of it. In the evening we went to a viewpoint to see the Bokali village. We heard that there's a great view, especially in the evening. Even if you can't see the actual sunset from the, there, it's nice to see the village or the small city with the city lights from the top. We stopped for dinner at Tau Latte. The food was okay, nothing special, but yes, it was a good, a good great dinner. And yes, if possible, if you travel with a baby, book the apartment on the ground floor. Next on our list was the Cameo Island. Cameo Island is the second most photographed place in Zakynthos, obviously after the very famous shipwreck beach. We will talk about that later. And it's often indicated as a spot not to be missed on the island and any Zakynthos travel guides. Located in the Agios Sostis area and is easily reachable both on foot from Laganas and by car. Cameo Island is now mainly a beach bar where you can have a drink from 9 a.m. until midnight. Swimming in crystal clear waters and admiring the sheets dancing in the wind. The entry fee is 5 euros. Note that you can get to the Cameo Island with a stroller crossing the bridge, but once you arrive on the other side, you will have to walk through the rocks and the stairs. We didn't go to Cameo Island, but just took some pictures from the bridge and I took uh, a few shots from the air. Then we went to Mizitres. Mizitres are two rocks in the southwestern area of Zakynthos. Once known as the Mizitres Islands because before the 2018 earthquake, both rocks were separated by a strip of sea. Since 2018, the beach has become more and more famous, ranking among the top three most Instagram places in Zakynthos. I left Tanya and Leon in the car because Leon is asleep and it's really hot. 
outside and also the road is like pretty stiff walk and really bumpy so I think uh, that now I will have about maybe 10 minutes of walk uh, you you leave the car in the parking is free for the bar guests which we will go later the viewpoint bar and uh, then you have about 15 minutes walk to get to reach uh, to the viewpoint and uh, hopefully I will be able to get some shots from the air crystal clear water uh, I think the view will be nice but let's see really dangerous if you walk towards the edge be very careful it's not worth to fall down to do some insta picture or something uh, just to keep in mind if you are going to see okay but be careful because it's uh, it's really dangerous it's like 10 minutes walk but it looks like half an hour and my t-shirt is soaking wet because it's so damn hot I think it's 35 or even more degrees uh, Celsius. So, From the terrace of the Kerry Lighthouse restaurant, you can enjoy a fantastic view of the rocks. An excellent choice both at lunchtime when the colors of the sea are particularly bright, but also at sunset when the sky turns orange with the shades of pink. We were on the road again on that day and our next stop was the Kerry Beach. All three places we visited Cameo Island, Mizitres and Kerry Beach are not far away from each other, so with the car it's okay to combine a small tour of all three in one day, even if you have a baby with you. All in all, Zakynthos is not so big and you can reach uh, each part of the island with a car, but the roads are not in the best conditions, so sometimes you need to, uh, 45 minutes to drive like 15 to 20 kilometers. So, Kerry Beach is a nice small beach. There are no sunbeds and umbrellas to rent, but you can find natural shade under the trees. The beach of Kerry, also called Lake of Kerry, took its name from the big lake that used to be there in the old times, and which nowadays is drained. In the Lake of Kerry, you may find traditional taverns and beautiful bars and cafes. The beach is clean and the water is crystal clear. After leaving Kerry, we went for a dinner at Alti restaurant in CDV, which became our favorite restaurant in Zakynthos. They are hard to find on Google, but you can find this restaurant at the beginning of CDV city center. They offer modern Greek cuisine. So since we were the first guests, we got free wine. Nice. We also got a, something on the house as a starter, which is guacamole, fig jam and goat cheese someone is trying to get a baby to sleep and in between we just got the first starter which is buffalo burrata with very crispy kale and three types of olive oil bon appetit well this one is on the house as well look at that so delicious mm. We were so satisfied with the food that we came back two days later and the staff is so kind and helpful. They let us taste uh, different wines. We are here back again at the Alati restaurant because we were too satisfied yesterday. Today we have a verde salad with some uh, bread and different sauces. sauces yeah. So let's start. The wine was on the house and all in all you feel a valuable guest when you eat there. I strongly recommend eating there when you are in Zakynthos. The next day we went to Alikes Beach. We heard about Alikes Beach and the Buka Bar that is worth a visit so we decided to give it a try. Who's chilling? 
The beach of Alikes in Zakynthos is a lengthy, sandy seashore boasting Georgia's crystal clear waters along its length. Taking its name from the salt flats hidden behind the village of Alikes, now a natural reserve, Alikes Beach hosts a shallow seabed filled with soft sand, making it fantastic for a family visit, even though it tends to be quite a crowded destination during the summer. It's a well-organized beach offering an array of sunbed pairs and sun umbrellas for rent, whereas one may also spot plentiful uh, bars and restaurants near the sea waters. I'm not sure about the, the price, but I believe the, a pair of sunbeds and an umbrella is 25 euros for the day. So, Daddy drove us to the beach directly. I think there was no other spot closer to the sea. Almost the car would have been swimming with us as well. Thank you! Greece is well known for its olive oil and Zakynthos is no different. When traveling around the island you can see olive trees everywhere and their olive oil is one of the best. Our next stop was Porto Limnionas. It is one of the most hidden places and maybe for this reason more beautiful and wild on the entire island. To get there you have to pass through the mountainous village of uh, Agios Leon and from there follow the signs driving down a recently asphalted road running down to the sea and ending in a small square where you can park. However, keep in mind that uh, the park is really crowded and it's hard sometimes to find the free spot. From there, getting down a few steps uh, carved in the rock, you reach a real fjord stupefying the visitor for the clean clearness and the colors of the waters. It's easy to imagine that in this place there are not many tourist facilities. Only recently two terraces with uh, loungers and umbrellas have been created but are not always enough for the request. You can visit Porto Limnionas with a baby because from the parking to the sunbeds are just a few steps. But I wouldn't recommend trying to bring your baby through the water there because it's stiff, rocky and sleepy getting to the water. I recommend go there early to get some free sunbeds and an umbrella. From there we went to the Navajo viewpoint to observe the sunset. On our way there we stopped at one of the local tavernas for dinner. Navajo Beach, located on the western side of the Greek island Zakynthos, is a stunning sight to behold. With white sands and crystal clear blue water, this beach cove is surrounded by high limestone cliffs showing stunning views of the beach and its famous shipwreck, the Panagiotis. Known today as Shipwreck Beach, this little beach cove in Zakynthos has grown in popularity with tourists over the years. On our last day, we visited the St. Nicholas Church, a charming spot near Agios Nikolaos Beach, perfect for photos and easily accessible with a stroller. There's an ample parking nearby. And after the church, we headed to Porto Azuro, just a few kilometers away. This sandy beach, dotted with large rocks, stands out from other Zakynthos uh, beaches. The beach bar offers amazing snacks, 
delicious meals and unique cocktails with stunning views. Porto Azzurro features crystal clear azure waters, ideal for swimming, natural shade, easy access and plenty of umbrellas and sun loungers. The price I think is 20 euros per set and you will find changing rooms, outdoor showers, bar service on the beach, Wi-Fi and uh, spacious parking. The facilities are also accessible for people with disabilities. So this concludes our Zakynthos vlog. Of course, there are many spots, restaurants and nice beaches on Zakynthos. I didn't cover in this video, but this was our experience as a family with a small baby. And if you plan to visit Zakynthos, I hope you find this video helpful. If so, give it a like, subscribe for more travel vlogs and fitness content. And until next time, take care.